Normally when someone hears the term bath salts, the first thing that comes to mind is a relaxing day at the spa or even a relaxing evening in the tub in the afternoon after a tough day. No one thinks about the fact that a woman spent days in her room clawing her skin to shreds because she thought there was an animal underneath her skin. Or even the fact that a woman chased her mother around with a machete because she thought that her mother was a monster. Now, these are the types of things that happen when people abuse bath salts from what they're not intended to be as, as drugs, as a designer drug. Now, bath, salt, bath salts are easily attainable, as easily as typing in bath salts in Google. You can buy these, they're, they're very easy to get. Now, today we're going to discuss an overview of the hallucinogenic properties of bath salts and how they're abused, the adverse effects of abusing bath salts, and what the federal, state, and government is doing to actually work out this drug to keep it prohibited and illegal. Now, my sources are BurningTree.com, an article from the New York Times, and the Emergency Physicians Monthly. Now, how are bath salts used as a drug? Now, the first thing about bath salts is its addictive property. It's called mephedrone or MPBD. Now, basically what it does, it gives a similar high that you would get from methamphetamines or cocaine. Now, according to Emergency Physicians Monthly, the central nervous system, it affects it by stimulating, uh, causing it delusions, psychosis, and hallucinations. Now, psychosis, basically what it is, is taking your mind away from reality. So basically you're in your own pretend world, your own make-believe world. Now, uh, it comes in a powder or crystal form, can be snorted, smoked, or injected, but what they're seeing now more than ever is people mixing in their alcoholic beverages and uh, just drinking it like that as, as a party drug. Now, it's called a designer drug, meaning that it, it bypassed the analog act which was basically put in there that you can't sell an illegal drug on the open market. But they did this by placing a, a disclaimer on the outside of the package that says not for human consumption. So you have this very nice, nicely packaged uh, bath salt, but on the outside it says not for human consumption, and that's how they bypass it being able to be sold so, so regularly. Now, mainly we're seeing it coming in from India and China, where their, uh, manufacturing, their manufacturing processes are not as heavily regulated as they are in the United States. And... Uh, all they have to do, all the chemists have to do to make it and keep it legal is to change one molecule in it and it's able to stay on the open market. And that's how they keep it, being able to sell the way they, the way they do. Again, you can find this simply by typing in bath salts in Google. And they used to sell these at truck stops and uh, locations that's where you would find uh, like the salvia, which was a synthetic alternative to marijuana or commonly known as spice. It's the same thing. And now that we understand how, uh, how they're abused and how they're readily available, we're going to continue with the adverse side effects. Now, uh, it's, it's safe to say, obviously, we all understand that uh, it's, it's not a safe synthetic um, alternative to uh, hallucinogenic drugs like, mar like uh, spice with some marijuana. Uh, this is uh, according to NewYorkTimes.com. Dr. Mark Ryan, the director of uh, the Louisiana Poison Center, is saying that uh, we're seeing the worst attributes of methamphetamine, cocaine, PCP, LSD, ecstasy, all put together with the patients that come in that are overdosing or that are actually abusing this drug. Um, some of the things they're seeing that are very common, very typical, are aggressive behavior, uh, very heavily suicidal thoughts, murder, uh, superhuman strength and invincibility. Uh, some examples of this, uh, according to uh, Emergency Physicians Monthly, is uh, in Panama City, Florida, a man ripped the radar, the radar system out of a police car with his teeth, and he had to have uh, police officers, like several of them, subdue him. And also, uh, in the New York Times, uh, they found an Indiana man climb the flagpole and just jump into traffic. I thought he was Superman. And uh, the last example, uh, in Pennsylvania, a man broke into a monastery and stabbed a priest just for no reason, just because it's what the drug does to you, to your brain. Um, now that we understand these uh, adverse effects, we're going to continue on with uh, what government action is being taken to permanently uh, prohibit this designer drug. Um, in 2011, September, uh, the, the Department of uh, Drug Enforcement Agency, they put an emergency ban in place for one year, banning this, banning this any sales of bath salts whatsoever on the open market. This is going to last until September 2012 or, or March 2013, as long as that ban stays in place. And uh, during this time, <coughs> the Department of Health and Human Services is actually uh, laying the groundwork for prohibiting bath salts entirely in the United States. 
Uh, this was done in Britain in 2000. They were seeing a huge influx of uh, what we're seeing now in the United States. The Britain banned all of it completely, bath salts. So it made its way over the United States, and now it's affecting our uh, communities. So um, during this class, we went over the properties of bath salts and how they're abused, the adverse effects of the drug, and what the government is doing to combat the use of this. And I'm going to close with a quote from uh, the New York Times. It's from the Pottsville, the chief of police at uh, Pottsville Police. His name is Joseph H. Merton. He said, we had two instances in particular where they were acting out in a very violent manner, and they were, they were tasered, and it had no effect. Uh, one was only a small female, but it took uh, four officers to hold her down along with two orderlies. That's how out of control she was. And that's just basically a reminder that this drug, although it's, it sounds simple, that's all, it's not. It's a very deadly drug. We only make sure that we know what's out there. Thank you.